CXE Math has three parts, paper one, paper two, and an SBA or paper three. Here's everything you need to know about the paper two. Now you see this one, this is the big one. This is the one you need to crack. Paper two is worth 50% of your overall grade. It has 10 questions, but don't make the 10 questions fool you because it's kind of like question one, A, I, and them type of something there. It's worth 100 marks overall. It's for two hours and 40 minutes, and you're able to use your calculator. Like paper one, it's broken into three parts. 30% of it focuses on knowledge or what you can recall. 40% of it focuses on comprehension or how you can apply what you've learned. And the final 30% focuses on reasoning or using what you've learned to solve real world problems. If you want to break down exactly what to expect in those types of categories, then you can look at our video and everything you need to know about the paper one. But it's kind of similar, just like that one. In the paper two, it's kind of predictable what you're going to see. The first question is usually like on numbers, so things like ratios, decimals, percentages, might do a little simple interest, consumer arithmetic. Question two is usually like on algebra and you know, it's it, it kind of predictable like that. But they don't really tell you exactly what's gonna come. In 2021, they did. They told you the topics to expect, but generally it covers all of the syllabus. So you have to prepare for everything when you're going into the paper two. Now the thing is, how can you get ready to ace your paper too? There are three things that you can do. The first is that you really need to get good at problem solving. And I have a video that speaks about the four steps to problem solving that you can take, where you just ask yourself, what do you want to know? What do you already know? What can you do? And how can you know if you're right? That can help you to solve any problem, but that's super, super important because you may see things on the CXE that you didn't see in class and you're still supposed to be able to solve those types of problems. Another thing that you can do is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Do not procrastinate. The first chance you get, make sure that you're familiar with the paper. And tons of resources abound online where you can find papers, like, like past papers, and you can go through them. I know that you're probably watching this video like a month or a few weeks before the exam. You shouldn't do that. But if you are, then I would suggest doing a paper like every day or every two days just to be familiar with all of what is on it. And if there's a topic on it that you're not sure about, you can check out this channel for some of the topics or you can search on YouTube because everything is here that you need to know. I would say there are some topics you definitely need to look out for. You can check out another video that I did on 5CXE topics you need to know um, just to get the idea of what to look out for. Now, a third thing that you can do that follows from practicing is to identify and work on your weak areas. So if you're going through the paper and you find out that each time you're having difficulty with vectors and matrices, sit down on vectors and matrices, focus on those topics alone and see if you can get better at them. Yeah? Because you have to give yourself the best chance of going into the exam. So that's a little bit about what paper three is and how to get ready for it. I have another video on what to expect in the paper one and that goes a little more in depth on some strategies you can use so you can check that one out. And I also have another video coming soon on what to expect in the paper three because some people might not be doing the SBA. So you can look out for that. Make sure you subscribe to keep updated and I'll see you on next time. Big up.